those Twitch streamers, they're at it again. So privileged and don't know anything about the world. I'm being kind of serious when I say that. I do think Twitch streamers are incredibly privileged. You know, they get to sit in front of a camera all day and make a ton of money and really not have to worry about, you know, the things a normal person has to worry about. But the reason I bring this up is I'm talking about this tweet by John Swan that got 15 million views. It's quite a banger. That says, nah, Twitch streamers aren't real. There's no way. And he's talking about a clip from two streamers who have a podcast now, Cutie Cinderella and Maya. I'll play the clip that, you know, he tweeted about as for context. Do you have health well, insurance? No. <laughs> Why? Do, are you on your parents? Yes. Oh, congratulations. What okay, are you going to do? I am get my own. How? with my money how what do you mean how who do you call to get health insurance yeah uh, someone who provides health insurance what is this question what do you mean are you saying because you don't know how i don't know how so yeah cutie cinderella does not have health insurance and you know doesn't know how to get it and this is surprisingly a very normal thing believe it or not if you're not told how to do something or not told that you need to do something you won't know that you have to do it this is crazy to me how this is like 40,000 likes on twitter this this tweet that's like twitch streamers are so dumb this is just a human problem this isn't like a twitch streamer thing and this is like Everybody who does anything in life deals with stuff like this, maybe not specifically health insurance, but they deal with stuff like this pretty regularly. Like for example, I recently got a house. There was a ton of shit that was involved in getting a house that I had no idea about. I never ever was told anything about it. Like I'll give a personal example, right? So in the process of getting this house, we had to pick our electric and water providers. Actually, I don't think it was water. I think it was just electric. And I had no idea you had to do that. You have to go to your city's uh, water website. You have to make an account on the water website. And that's how you pay like the water bill. Also, a pro tip for that, we, we made a new email. So all the bills for the house go to that one email. I think that's pretty smart, by the way. <laughs> just to brag for a little bit. But uh, yeah. You, you have to make an account for like the water bill and the electric bill and I never knew that I've never I was never told that or anything and then for electric you have to like go through a list of all the companies that service like your area and be like hmm which one has the best price and you know all this stuff like it's so crazy I didn't even know like this is something I learned a couple of years ago that having lights on doesn't do shit for your electricity bill like you can have a light on 24 7 it does fucking nothing dude it's like pennies having lights on the only things that run up your electricity bill are stuff with engines so like my computer uh the washer and dryer the dishwasher um you know stuff with an engine like that like that shit runs up the electricity bill leaving the lights on do not run up the electricity bill so i never knew that that is com that was completely new to me at the time, a couple of years ago, like three years ago, I was like, what? I never knew that. You know, I never had to worry about the electricity bill until, you know, I moved out and I was on my own. Uh, so that was crazy to me. Same thing with getting electric. And another thing that I recently learned because I have a house now is we got a 70 inch TV in the living room, right? Big TV. So it has a big box. And I was like, huh. You know, do I have to put this, do I have to like crush this box down and put it in the recycling bin and then take it out on trash day? Also, I don't even know when trash day is. So I have to figure out when trash day is around here. Oh man, there's so much stuff. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. You, you never learn any of this stuff. You just have to figure it out. You know what I mean? Or, you know, luckily I have parents, so my parents help me out. But, you know, a lot of people, you know, don't and they don't have that kind of like privilege. You know what I mean? But Anyway, back to my story. I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, we had this big box for this big TV. I was like, okay, do I crush it in the recycling bin and put the put it out on trash today? Or do I just put the whole box out there? You know, I didn't think I could fit, you know, a 70 inch box in a tiny little recycling bin. And uh, so I called my mom and I was like, what do we do about this? Apparently, you have to call 
the trash people that come throughout the neighborhood, I, I never knew this. I never knew you they even like had a number you could call them. I've never heard of that in my entire life. How am I supposed to know that? You know what I mean? I'm sure most people watching this video didn't know that. It's crazy, man. You have to call trash and you have to be like, hey, I have like, they call it bulk trash. You have to call and be like, hey, I have a, a bunch of boxes. Uh, can y'all come out and pick this up? You know, we're also moving, so we got a ton of boxes everywhere. So it's not just one single box. But yeah, and then they come up. Some neighborhoods even have a bulk trash day. So on one day throughout the week, they come by and they pick up, you know, like all your boxes and you just you just put them on the curb, put them by the street. That's crazy to me. I never knew that. That's so weird to me. That whole process is just weird to me. Like calling trash and be like, hey, I live here. I have boxes outside. Can you come pick it up? I don't know why. I just find that so weird. So I totally understand what Cutie Cinderella is saying. She's not wrong at all. Like if you just don't know something, then you, you I mean, you, you can't do what you don't know. You know what I mean? What are your sluts parents or your dad? I come from a very Republican family that if the, Dude, and you go to the doctor so often, I can't believe you don't have health insurance. I did okay, not know this. This sounds like a lecture that I didn't expect. I did not. I didn't You go so often. I know, but I'm limited because I get really stressed because I don't have any resources and I get really confused. It's the same reason that I went to culinary school instead of normal college. No one prepped me. My family abandoned me. I didn't know. All of a sudden, everyone in junior and in, in junior year of high school is like, I got accepted into Harvard. I got accepted into MIT. And I'm like, wait, we were supposed to submit stuff. I had no clue. No one told me. Everyone forgot about me. And yeah, that's exactly my point. If you aren't told, you won't know. Absolutely crazy how this tweet has popped off so much. You know, 15 million views, 40,000 likes, which, you know, is pretty low. So I hope most people understand that, like, this isn't a Twitch streamer thing. This is just a human thing. You know, you don't know what you don't know. That's part of life. You have to navigate life. You learn this stuff as you age. So, yeah, I pretty much just wanted to talk about this because I just couldn't believe how viral this was getting. And, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.